But another thing, when I watch drivers, I observe very well. They wait to the last minute when they turn the, put their turn signals on, either left or right. But they don't, they do that. I don't know why they do that. And they're on the phone. They're talking. You're really not really supposed to, you're supposed to leave the driver concentrate when they're driving. But that's, that's another thing that they do that. They don't, and then when they're at this crosswalk there, they're right, they have a vehicle right in the middle of the crosswalk there where the pedestrian is supposed to have the right of way to walk, but That's they, true. you have to walk. And they're like, they're supposed to leave that crosswalk open. So it's pretty hazardous. And that. it's pretty hazardous. And they, and they're, very, they're supposed to be courteously to the person that's right. going across the crosswalk there. They're very rude at times. Well, guess what we're going to do now, Nancy? We're going to put Puggy to work. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. See over here on the monitor? You see what that says over there? It says call, right? Right. Now, you're a guest, but for a split second, you can be a temporary co-host. Okay. So what's right. your job? Is to to answer questions. No, to get the call. Oh, you gotta okay. say, caller, you're on. Oh, caller, you. Oh my God, caller, you on. <laughs> caller, you're on. Hi, Hello. 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 Hi, Chris. Who is it? This is Chris. Well, start speaking up, Chris. I am speaking. Um, I just want to say hi to everyone. Hi. And hi. also, um about driving. I do drive, but in a different way. I drive people crazy. <laughs> we're serious here. Wait a minute, we're serious here. If I go, we're serious here, that don't sound right. We're serious here. So Chris, you wanna fill us in on this business that you were gonna tell us earlier? Well, one thing, um, there's two things. Um, there's a, well, three things. One is the, um, Al, you talked about abuse in the past. Right. And there's a, a bill that's finally been introduced in the Senate about abuse and mistreatment. And this is a very good bill as far as like abuse and mistreatment. We're not going to get a very uh, bill, good bill like this. So people need to, to read the bill. And it's Senate Bill 699 and rally and for it because um, in, in the bill it talks about if people that are uh, being abusive, uh, that they could um, uh, be suspended and and be penalized by the agency. But if the agency doesn't follow up with the um, when there's a complaint about abuse and, and it's ongoing, then the agency will be suspended. The license will be provoked. So can you repeat very loudly the actual bill? It's Senate Bill 699. Senate Bill 699? Correct. And is that state house? State? It's, a, it's a state Senate bill. So it's and, in Pennsylvania. And Senator, Senator Jay Costa co-sponsored co it. Senator Jay Costa. Would you happen to have Senator Jay Costa's phone number in your head? Um, his number is 412-488-6111. Uh, Okay, oops, my pen died. 488 Right. 412, right? Right. Jay Costa. It's All right. Costa. And then you also talked about in, in recent shows about Port Authority. Yes, Port Authority Transportation. Right. And there's a public hearing on August the 19th at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center from 8 a.m. <laughs> to 8, 8 p.m. Yeah, Nancy was telling us about that. And, but also, um, when people go to the public hearing, ask the people that are on that panel if they have ever um, been in a bus in, in, in recent years, and if they've been in a bus recently. And, and also, uh, try to um, speak up with the, um, at the public hearing and, and encourage the Port Authority Board to open their books to 
county council. And, and also, Port Authority owns property that they're not even using. And, and also, the, the building that they use on 6th, 6th Street, you know, they're paying an outrageous amount of rent for that building. And, and, and if they would get rid of that deficit of, of paying rent and, and use the building that they have in Manchester, they're still not even using use that building and, and that would cut down on the cost of their overhead and put that into their budget to cut down on fares and and, and things like that and they have too many uh, frontline staff in the front office to hardly do anything well i i appreciate that but let me um we're, we have only 25 minutes now you said something about before i left to uh get Nancy, I mean, I'm sorry, Kathy and everybody earlier, you were saying something about the United States Congress has some kind of bill with relations to the Medicare. Medicare. Can you fill, the pub, uh, fill in our audience real quickly because we do need to move on, but please fill them in on it. Well, and of course, I know the number for Congress, so all right. you need to do There's is tell us what's up. Right. And if they vote, um, if the Congress votes no for it, and that means that the state of Pennsylvania is going to lose some federal money, and that means that that if it doesn't pass, that means that people will be paying more for medication. Some medications won't be covered by an insurance company. Also, there'll be more co-pays and higher co-pays. And also, with it, um, a lot of the... Uh, things that was provided by your, your insurance will not be covered. All right, well, listen, what, what do they need to do? They call tomorrow and they ask to about or tell them about what? They need to call their congressmen and, and encourage them to vote yes for the Medicare buyout. Vote yes for the Medicare buyout, and what they need to do is call 1-202-225-3121. Call immediately and call on... Um, Wednesday morning, August yeah, the 4th, tomorrow, 2010. Now, we're going to have to move on because well, we have two more calls. Hello? So, let's go with um, Donna real quickly. Hello? We lost our call. Can Hello? we have the next caller, please? Hello? Uh -oh. This is my am. Hello, go ahead, Diane. We only have about this 10 is, minutes. The drummer, the drummer. I don't remember his name. His name is Puggy. The gentleman's name is Puggy. Hey, don't forget to say happy birthday to Obama. It's his birthday. He's 47 years old. Okay, that's the president. Okay. Um, now to the drummer. Who did, who did you work with? And please tell everybody where did you grow up with, grow up with who, how, you know, I can't understand what she's saying. Oh, I can't understand what you're saying. Where you grew up at? Where you grew up at? And uh, what did you ever work with the lead, the, the African drummer? Okay, well, it's hard to understand I'm what you're saying. I'm talking about, you know, how you got started. I'd like to know how you got started and where do you play your instrument at. Maybe we'll come down and see you, and I'll get my brother to take us, and he is a good driver. Now, you pay attention, everybody. My brother is a good driver. Ask Nancy. She would know. All right, well, we're going to move forward, Diane. Oh, you, you, I couldn't understand it. Sorry, Diane, we couldn't understand it. Um, she wanted to know where you grew up. Oh. And also, did you ever play with an African drummer whose name was Akeem? Did you happen to ever meet a gentleman named Akeem? I, I don't really recall. You don't recall? Know. Okay, he has not probably played with Akeem. Where did you grow up? Um, and then, uh, on the Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Yeah. Okay. Well, you might want to look oh, at the... the yeah, on, uh, there you Fifth go. Avenue. And I probably, by the name, mm -hmm. uh, he probably have another name. Right. This is a nickname, and I probably right. he probably named himself Akeem or right. 